Barrelai Fish The Barrelai Fish is a deep-sea fish known for its unique adaptations to darkness. It inhabits the mesopelagic zone, between 600 and 800 meters deep, in the North Pacific, from Japan to California. Its most striking feature is its transparent head, filled with fluid that protects its elongated, bright green eyes, capable of detecting minimal traces of light. These eyes, initially thought to be fixed, can rotate forward or upward, allowing the animal to observe prey above or ahead while remaining motionless. It's believed that the transparent structure also protects it from the stinging tentacles of siphonophores, from which it steals small trapped crustaceans. Measuring about 15 centimeters in length, the barrel eye has wide fins for stability and a small mouth adapted for capturing plankton and bioluminescent organisms. Its rarity and fragility, its head is easily damaged in fishing nets, made it difficult to study until the use of robotic submersibles, like those from Bari, revealed details about its behavior. Observations show that it floats motionless, using its enhanced vision to locate prey by their silhouette against residual surface light, then moves quickly to capture them, rotating its eyes to track movement. Sea Pig Sea pigs are deep sea cucumbers that inhabit the abyssal plains of the oceans, at depths between 1,000 and over 6,000 meters. Their peculiar appearance includes elongated feet that function as legs to walk without sinking into the soft sediment and tentacles around the mouth to dig organic matter from the seafloor. They are specialized to tritivores, feeding mainly on fresh particles, less than 100 days old, that fall from the surface, such as algae remains or whale carcasses. Their whip-like sensory papillae detect nutrients in ocean currents, guiding them to food sources. They aggregate in large groups, often aligned against the current to optimize their search for food. In addition to their ecological importance as cleaners of the ocean floor, sea pigs maintain symbiotic relationships with juvenile king crabs. Their populations also fluctuate with climatic events like El Nino, which alter the arrival of nutrients to the depths. Recently, in 2024, expeditions discovered new species, like a pink sea pig in the Clarion Clipperton zone, an area coveted for deep sea mining. Vampire Squid the vampire squid is a unique cephalopod that inhabits deep zones of tropical and temperate oceans, between 600 and 3,000 meters deep. Unlike common squids and octopuses, it lives in areas with extremely low oxygen concentrations called oxygen minimum zones, where pressure is extreme and light is practically non-existent. Its adaptation to this environment includes blood with hemocyanin, copper-based, that transports oxygen more efficiently, gills with a large absorption surface, and an extremely low metabolism to conserve energy. Measuring about 30 centimeters in length, it has a gelatinous body in shades of dark red to black, eight arms connected by membranes, retractable filaments to detect food, and enormous globular eyes. Despite its scary name, it feeds mainly on organic debris that falls from the upper ocean layers, captured with sticky filaments. When threatened, it inverts its arms to expose spines and releases a cloud of bioluminescent mucus that glows for up to 10 minutes to confuse predators. As an evolutionary relic, it's the only living representative of its order, Vampyromorphida, with ancestors dating back 165 million years. Its reproduction is poorly understood, but it's known that females store sperm for long periods before fertilizing eggs, an adaptation to the rarity of encounters in its habitat. Wolf Fish Also known as the ocean catfish, it's a group of marine species adapted to cold, deep environments in the North Atlantic. It's characterized by its robust appearance, with a large head, prominent canine teeth, and an elongated body that can reach up to 2 meters in length. Its coloration ranges from bluish-gray to olive-green or brown, often with dark vertical bars. These fish inhabit rocky or algae-covered bottoms, at depths ranging from 10 to over 500 meters, depending on the species and life stage. They are specialized predators of crustaceans and mollusks, using their powerful jaws to crush sea urchin shells, crabs, and mussels, playing a crucial ecological role in controlling these populations. Notable adaptations include antifreeze proteins in their blood to survive in waters below 11 degrees Celsius. Reproductively, they form monogamous pairs that can last a lifetime, with spawning between September and October. Males fertilize the eggs internally before the female deposits them in rocky crevices, guarding them for up to nine months until hatching. Despite their resilience, species like the Atlantic wolffish face threats, they're classified as overfished due to population declines caused by trawling and habitat destruction. Their sedentary nature and dependence on intact benthic ecosystems make them particularly vulnerable to environmental disturbances, requiring specific conservation measures to preserve these key species in deep-sea ecosystems. Stargazer fish 
Stargazer fish are marine creatures adapted to benthic life, known for their peculiar morphology and unique predatory strategies. They have eyes positioned on top of their heads and upward-facing mouths, allowing them to bury themselves in sand or mud with only these parts exposed. This camouflage makes them efficient ambush predators, using a fleshy appendage on the lower jaw as a lure to attract prey like small fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Some species, like the Atlantic stargazer, Uranoscopus scabber, are bioelectrogenic, capable of generating electric shocks of up to 50 volts through specialized organs, a rare defensive adaptation among fish. Additionally, they have venomous spines behind their pectoral fins, combining multiple protection mechanisms. These fish primarily inhabit subtropical waters on sandy or muddy bottoms of the continental shelf, distributed across the Atlantic, Mediterranean, and Black Sea. Their diet varies seasonally, with feeding peaks in autumn, while reproduction occurs between spring and summer, releasing pelagic eggs that develop into planktonic larvae. Despite their venom and electric capabilities, some cultures consume them after removing the specialized organs, although their capture is mostly incidental in commercial fishing. Living up to six years, these extraordinary adaptations make them both efficient predators and ecologically unique species. Red-toothed triggerfish. Also known as the red-toothed triggerfish, it's a marine species found in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, including the Red Sea, Indian Ocean, and areas around Australia, Japan, and Pacific Islands. This fish inhabits coral reefs, channels with strong currents, and underwater slopes, usually between 5 and 110 meters deep. Its coloration ranges from blue, purple, and bluish-green, with bright margins on the fins, and it can change color according to its mood or environment. A striking feature is its sharp red teeth, visible even when its mouth is closed. They swim unusually, using mainly their dorsal and rear fins for propulsion, making them highly agile. Although generally social and found in schools, they can become territorial and aggressive, emitting grunt-like sounds to defend breeding or feeding areas. Their diet is omnivorous and opportunistic, feeding mainly on zooplankton, crustaceans, algae, and sponges, but also including fish and cephalopod remains. During reproduction, males establish territories and build nests on the substrate, where females deposit eggs. Both parents guard the eggs until hatching, a behavior not replicated in captivity. Despite their popularity in marine aquariums, they require large tanks and clean water, and are prone to jumping out of their environment. Scorpion fish. Scorpion fish, belonging to the Scorpionidae family, are known for their exceptional camouflage and venomous spines. They primarily inhabit tropical and temperate oceans, such as the Indo-Pacific, Atlantic, and Mediterranean regions, adapting to diverse environments like coral reefs, rocky bottoms, and sandy areas. Their appearance varies from grayish, brown, or red tones, with textures mimicking rocks, algae, or debris, allowing them to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. They are ambush predators, remaining motionless during the day and hunting at night, using rapid mouth movements to create a vacuum and suck in prey like small fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Solitary and territorial, they only group during reproduction, releasing eggs and sperm into the water for external fertilization, followed by planktonic larval stages before settling on the seafloor. In addition to camouflage, these fish have dorsal, rear, and pelvic spines connected to venom glands, used primarily for defense. The venom, composed of neurotoxins and other substances, causes intense pain, swelling, and, in rare cases, severe complications in humans, though it's rarely fatal. Accidents usually occur when divers or fishermen accidentally step on or touch the animals, requiring immediate treatment with hot water, around 40 degrees Celsius, to neutralize the toxin. Species like the stonefish, Sinensia, are among the most dangerous, with venom capable of causing cardiac arrest. Scorpionfish play a crucial ecological role as controllers of small marine organism populations, maintaining the balance of the ecosystems they inhabit. Subscriptions and likes are important, but reading your comments makes the video much more interesting for me. See you next time.